Today I want to talk to you about buying jeans. Now, buying jeans is up with buying swimwear as far as I'm concerned. It's a bit hit and miss. Some days you can go and you can just nail it, and other days you feel like you've got to try 500 pairs on before you find your thing halfway decent. And I think a lot of it's up here, but um, rather than here, but it's one of those things that it just takes a bit of time. So I thought that maybe to save you some time, I'll give you some pointers today about buying great jeans for you and finding the right pair for you. Now, jeans are magical in that they are so versatile. You can have a pair of jeans that you can wear really casually as I am here, you know, with t-shirt, knit and trainers. And you, I could dress this up with something glamorous and appeal and wear it out again. In fact, I'll show you that. Like this. So, depending on how dressy you want to go, it's going to depend on the wash you want for your jeans. So, a jean like this gorgeous one that's a little bit distressed and has a few rips, probably won't go to sort of really dressy dressy, but it will go down to your local cafe and have a bit of fun. So, if you're wanting something that's going to be really versatile, that goes dressy dressy or goes anywhere for you, choose a denim that's deeper in the colour, so a black or a blue, and that has no distressing on it, rather than this one that has a bit of rip and stuff like that, which is a bit of fun. So let me show you a few other tips about jeans too. So this is probably the most versatile jean you could own. It's a dark wash, it's full length. In fact, these are super long, and I've actually got them tucked up underneath to wear, because I like mine just sitting just at my ankle. But clean wash all the way through. So that's a really simple jean that will take you absolutely anywhere. So dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want to do, whatever you've got on for the day. But some things to think about when it comes to buying jeans, one of them is comfort. Because jeans, they, they have been in the past quite unforgiving and you can sort of start the day feeling fine and by three o'clock in the afternoon you're sort of feeling a bit bloated and sore. So if that's you, if you do tend to do a little bit of that, then go for one that has a lycra content. So you've got a nice bit of stretch, they're actually comfortable as well as easy to wear. The other thing with these jeans that I really like is they've got a high rise. So they're not right up at my belly button, but they are up high enough. Do you know what I mean? So I don't have the muffin top over the top. They're just nice and neat and held in nicely here. The other thing that I really like and I think you should think about when you're buying jeans is your pocket placement. So you want your pockets to sit kind of in the middle of your butt cheeks. Not too close, not too wide. Too close kind of looks a little bit like you've got your bum squeezed funny. Too wide makes it look as if your bum kind of goes around the corner. So you want them right in the middle of your butt cheek. That's really important. Another thing to think about too is where the stitching or where that yoke is through here. So your most flattering jean has what's called a pointed yoke back here. And the reason that's flattering is it draws your eye in. So it's coming inwards with that. And you'll notice with these pockets too, there's a nice little shape to the pocket. So they are shaped as well. So both of those things do some things to make your bum look a little smaller and they're much more flattering. So key tips for simple jeans, go for a simple wash, keep it nice and clean. If they're slightly longer, you can fold them or roll them to the length you want them to be. Look for some lycra because it's much more comfortable. Look for a higher rise and remember where that stitching goes and where the pockets are placed is really key. I'll show you some more, other, more tricks too. Now, one of the things about jeans is you don't have to obsess about the size because no one is going to follow you around looking at the size tag. So if you like them slightly looser, slightly dropped through the rise, a bit more relaxed through here, then go for a size up. So I've gone a couple of sizes bigger just because I want that more relaxed look through here. So if that's you, don't, don't be hamstrung by the size you see in the label. Go up or down the size depending on how you want your fit. This is just a classic boy free one that's called just wash through here. I've cuffed it a couple of times to keep it nice and casual. You can see it's much lower in the rise through here, but I've also pulled it down a bit because it's those couple of sizes bigger because that's the way I want this to fit. And joy of joy, it's full of lycra, so it's really comfortable to wear this way. So don't be stuck with the size tag. Don't worry about it. Go with the look you want. So very clever jean manufacturers know that they can make their jeans more flattering on the female figure by doing a little trick where they bring that side seam slightly forward. So running along the front of your leg or just to the side in front rather than right back here at your side. So when you're looking at jeans, have a look and see if that side seam comes forward a little bit because that's really, really flattering. 
The other thing about these particular jeans is we've got a stripe that heads down the side and you will have seen me in previous videos with those gorgeous ones with the little velvet stripe down the side and those things elongate you. Now if you want to look taller and slimmer as I've said in lots of these videos, similar colour all the way through will always make you look taller and leaner so that's a simple trick that you can use with whatever you put top and bottom. Now all of the jeans I've used in this piece have been from Luby's Story and Luby's Story and Madly Sweetly have got a deal going on at the moment where if you buy three items across their range you can choose either their boyfriend jean or their classic jean so you can take a pair of these home as well. So all you need to do is buy three items across Madly Sweetly or Luby's Story and you get yourself a free pair of jeans. How cool is that?